Hello and welcome, this is Donna. I wanted to share with you today an artisan journal that I made for uh, my friend Pam, my uh, virtual pen pal. Uh, this is uh, based on her favorite colors, which are orange and pink. And uh, we'll get right into it. So I really have an issue with too many signatures, but <laughs> at least it, it does close properly. So here is the front and there's a little peek of the back. We'll get into that more. Uh, I wanted to use velvets and I have a, a collection of, um, let's see if I can pull a piece over here. There are quite a few rust dyed fabrics and this is on muslin. And that's going to be throughout the journal. There's a lot of Tim Holtz in here as well. And uh, as I continue to do this, it, it kind of developed into a journal that is, I think, about relationships and people. So uh, first, let's talk about the front. So I used some old photo frames from some um, photo albums that I had. And this is from a scarf. And I just loved the colors and the detail. And uh, throughout the book, you'll see a lot of stitching, uh, not only hand stitching, uh, there's some French knots, but stitching um, on the machine over the uh, rust dyed fabrics. And there's uh, Tim Holtz and I stitched this and cut a hole in it and made a little window. Okay, so that opens like that, and I'll hold this, it's like I said, a little high. I also did a lot of random um, paint and collage work throughout. You'll find a lot of piano player paper along with uh, sewing tissues, and uh, I used gesso through my stencils and that stamping of course and then alcohol inks and um avocado dyed pieces too i have avocado dyed with laces fabrics and papers throughout here so this you know what, i'm going to do it this way so this comes out like this this is i ran this through the embosser so that's a pocket itself and then it has a tag, hour by hour, and then all this hand stitching I cut up and made little windows. I'm going to actually put this to the side as we go. I found some fabrics that, you know, are coordinated with the color scheme of pink, orange, and rust. And uh, I was inspired by so many people uh, that do... Well, that the, the make the journals. It's there's just so much information out there, and I really do feel that we inspire each other constantly. So you'll see um, maybe um, stuff that's just reminiscent of Sakita's work, or a Shabby Soul, um, a Shabby Dabby Duda, uh, a Creative Cafe Girl, of course Nancy from Wishes and Weeds, and Catherine from Sunnyside Journals. And some handmade tags. These tags were made by doing a large sheet of collage and then cutting them down. A line is a dot that went for a walk. Paw clean. This opens up this way. It's just wrapped around this uh, Tim Holtz charm. Playing cards. This is Tim Holtz too. Oh, and... Here, I'm going to do it this way. And that comes out there. This flips up. And there's a collage there. And the Tim Holtz fabric washi tapes. And um, Tim Holtz paper dolls along with photo booth. And then found relatives will be in here too. Pam is a librarian. 
and there are a lot of um, catalog cards in here. There will be, um, besides obviously book pages, there will be, um, oh, pockets, catalog, or uh, book pockets also. Let me go there, put this over. And I used um, a good amount of parchment, tea dyed and coffee dyed parchment papers, along with altered tape. This is rather grungy, but I still like it. This is from that big sheet that I cut up. And Tim, or Tim, Pam gave these to me, so I wanted to use them. And we, I did find a coordinating fabric here again. So there's a lot of, uh, here, you know, I need something under here. <clears throat> Sorry. Ah. Here I have a oh, rusty paper clip and a ladder. That was to uh, Private uh, Harold Fairweather. And there is a letter in here from his wife talking about the weather and what the children are doing. And this is World War II. So it's a really unique find. Uh, along with the ledger paper that's a cash ledger from 1920. Some flashcards. Some hand stitching again here. And stitching with coffee filters, tea bags, and uh, that was a paper bag. Here I just made a collage with, um, this is wallpaper, vintage that's it's meant to look like tin ceiling. This is actually Pam's hand dyed coffee stained uh, papers that she makes with, I think, lace. They're just beautiful, so I try to use them throughout. Here we have the uh, tape again. This is a page from a uh, farm uh, ledger that I have, and this is all about the care of the cows and the cream. And then I use velvet again, lots of stitching on some altered receipt, some altered papers. And these are flashcards, music flashcards, French. In the signatures, I try to pay attention to the centers and I've used this paper, and I will link the the um, supplier down below. Uh, just <clears throat> the eco dyed papers are stunning, and I know she just did a collection of rust dyed papers, and I just use these very sparingly. I absolutely love them, but it does make a beautiful center, and in all the centers are uh, charms, uh, Tim Holtz charms. And here I made a side tuck with this, with this paper bag. And that is a Tim Holtz photo card. And another altered uh, charm. And I did a whole bunch of these. This is from my one of my Japanese maples in my garden. And this is the other side of the farm. Uh, the... Fairmont Creamery Company, and here we've uh, calculated the amount of cream. It's really neat um, why and how to keep records. So that's on that side too. There is a library pocket from a public school library, and there is a little tiny card. And the collage behind it has a combination of handmade papers, uh, Pam's um, tea dyed papers, and this is a photo booth. Everyone recognizes those with the paper doll girls. Over here, I used a frame to uh, frame this Tim Holtz photo booth. And, and this got kind of squished down. I use this a lot. It actually comes from my garden. It is an annual that I put in with my geraniums. And it's called Silver Falls. And it dries just like that. Uh, so I have a big pile of it hanging in the studio <laughs> and I just use it when I want to and it feels like lamb's ear. Here we have the cash receipts uh, record ledger paper that's throughout the journal from 1920. And here's a sample of the rust dyed fabrics that I used and I, I made a little flower there, hand stitching and then went over it with a machine. 
my cat is bothering me, so I'm sorry if I'm sniffing. You know, it's time to be inside for the winter. So anyway, so back to the rust dyed fabrics. There's some beautiful fabrics. And then a um, vellum, Tim Holtz. And this is on the parchment paper. On this page, I made a double pocket with some vintage music sheets. And I used a um, card pocket. And we have some French flashcards. And keeping in the theme of that, I also have this souvenir, very delicate French postcard. I will uh, link all uh, the suppliers I've used off Etsy down below. Oh, and you can see the piano player uh, paper and inks that I've used throughout lace stitching. And a very bright collage. I had a, a lot of fun with this. So we have charcoal in here and gesso and inks and just, it was just grand. A cash receipt again cash receipt and this is an altered uh, glycine bag you can see the glycine bag here and uh, this is a stamp I have and I did some dried flowers that I have some wonderful seam binding and you know just a, a lot of collage on top of it and everyone will recognize all the Tim Holt stuff a wonderful book that I used for this journal the cover and um, the, the, you know both the back and front cover and some of the pages and did a little collage on the back. We're just going to put them aside. When you flip this over, I have a uh, photo slide here that's authentic. It is uh, French uh, from the museum. Very neat piece. I have a collection of those. And I really love the tape. And I, I, there's so many people that do the tape. Uh, I thank you for sharing your creativity and your all your little tricks with all of us because um, we, I, we, I really appreciate it. So here we have uh, an altered pocket with a feather that I've got from my yard and this gentleman. The center of this signature is the uh, muslin that has been rust dyed. <laughs> so sorry. The altered tag here is um, uh, a library cat uh, card catalog tag. The cash receipts. And Pam, when Pam sent me stuff, she sent me a bunch of die cuts. I don't have this die cut. So what I did was I used a um, iridescent paint from Golden, and then I um, distressed it. So when you read piano paper, you read from the bottom up. Dreams of You, Moon. And another card catalog, and her initial there. And here's the little boy with his dog, and he's all grown up now with a dog. Some avocado dyed lace, the other part of that collage. I really enjoyed this. I did this while um, at night watching TV and it was, it was really fun. I hadn't done a lot of slow stitching in a long, long time. And besides the uh, player piano paper, I have a uh, Hudson River Trust Company uh, canceled check there. And the spine from a book on this collage. And I didn't realize I had picked so much piano paper to, uh, that that related to the moon so <laughs> moonlight memories it's kind of fun how that evolves and this is on top of a braille paper that Pam had shared with me and we have another glassine bag here with a flash card keep and I just used some of my uh, fabric that I stitched on and cherish and all throughout is the different velvets that I've used. A little bit of handmade paper, music paper, 
And this is um, from a collection that I bought at a rummage sale of keys. And I'm assuming this person was a, a night watchman. And there's the rear barn door key. And these are, that's also what her last name initial. And we have a window and it flips up. And this is a copy of a Tim Holtz card that I printed onto muslin. Really kind of fun with cheesecloth here. And when you flip it over, there's Earl's West Market and Corning. So there's another key. So the whole box is full of keys and tags. It's, it's really fun to play with. Card catalog in the woods. I love that. And here we've combined um, the uh, avocado dyes, um, parts of cat, ca cat card catalogs. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need another cup of coffee. Uh, and the Tim Holtz paper dolls. One paper and another eco dyed paper. I love how eco dyed paper turns out. It feels like velvet to me. It's lovely. And here we have a flash card, and I'll just take that part off, and we'll put that right there. And the cash receipts again with a little small collage on parts that are um, you know, don't have the beautiful writing on it. And what was attached here was a, a flash card, and also, you know, I, I love all the little elements that Tim Holtz has to attach things. That's just one of them. And this is a, a very old receipt from 1922 from Albany. So put that there. Music sheets, handmade paper. And this tag has a lovely couple on it with a velvet and a little bit of grunge. And I made these flowers out of round tea bags. And here we have a really neat uh, uh, card. And this one is dried flowers that I sewed around uh, with um, it's a heavier plastic, like you packaging plastic. And there's a small tag that goes with that. And here's an envelope from 1926. The handwriting is always fascinating to me. And then here's another one of those pressed flowers sewn put that aside and the braille paper and there's more of the braille paper I'll still keep something memories so that's neat and this is a stencil that I created with a white gesso and uh, a stencil on top of a layer of the sewing uh, sewing paper tissue sewing tissue, pattern tissue, and uh, more of the parchment paper sewn. There's another side with stamping and writing and, and uh, paints that I've actually put on some stamps to give it an, um, you know, uh, an embossed look. Here we have a very rusty paper clip. And I know that it's putting rust on this beautiful piece but I'm okay with that. And this is a lovely receipt. Where is the date? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we'll put that aside. This paper clip has a funny story. My husband is altering, or he's restoring a vintage, um, uh, TR7 British car and he found this when taking the seats out and I apparently am not a diamond girl I'm a I'm a junk rusty girl <laughs> because he came in and gave this to me and said I know you'll want to use this in your art and he brings things like that to me um you know he'll find nails and uh, even the square nails and and one time he stopped and picked rocks up that he thought I would like from uh, a creek and you know sticks and things on hikes and I absolutely adore it so anyways I had to share that with you the rusty paperclip more music sheets 
and I used a paper bag here to make a pocket and added these flashcards. This is also a receipt. This is from 1966 and I think it was somebody's budget. Here is an altered envelope with collage and washi tapes and in this one is a the Hudson uh, River Trust Company again and with a punch out. I remember that. And another receipt from October 1919. And here we have the signature of this. And I wanted to add some of this. This is a pin that I think is retired now. Tim Holtz. And this envelope I altered by using uh, the stamp that I have. And sewing around with tissue paper and coffee filters and... Um, foreign language sheets and in this tag that is from a music sheet I loved the the scroll work on that the beautiful altered that right there there's more of that receipt the paper bag another tag for the Tim Holtz ephemeris for charms um, beautiful music sheets I have a large collection of them and it's it's so fun to use them in everything. Tags, pages, everything. There's that cash receipt. Cash receipt, another collage, and another pocket with the flashcard, the piano paper, tissue, just one little flashcard. And then here's the uh, yes, okay, so Tim Holtz again and a collage, a lot of grunge. And it's got a little peekaboo there, Wonderlust, with a little boy peeking out there. And we'll fold him up. And that is the back of uh, the music sheet. And he flips out and there is some actual blank space. I know um, Pam doesn't write in her journals a lot, so uh, I, she really enjoys it when it, they're full of art and collage. So that's what I was going for. And this has been coffee stained in a pan in the oven. And what you do is it's a grill pan and it creates these dots. It's really fun. And I learned that from a woman in um, Fulton, New York. And just some extra collage find and some hand stitching. A uh, flash card again. You can tuck that right back in. This flips over. And because it's transparent, you can see the back of that, which is really kind of cool. So I used a, a stamp, and I found some fabric that coordinated. And there's the anthology music sheets again. And a receipt, Rochester receipt. And this was um, the fabric I had and some sari uh, silk, embroidered sari silk, which makes a pocket. And then this is um, some papers that I had ordered, beautifully upraised, I really like that. Then the center of this signature with the rust-dyed fabrics, and a flash card, and a stamped little paper bag, and a catalog pocket, um, or library pocket. And an altered tag and I used a tea bag over the top of the images really like this which leads you over to this part the music sheets again and the hand stitching with the French knots and this went over and it was connected to um, a really thin paper it's almost like a paper bag and the ladies are all looking through. And then this part is the parchment paper again with a tag, breathe. And somebody had written notes on this French paper with the birds. I love the velvets, I really love the velvets. So I talked to this flashcard over the cash receipt page. It's really fun and you flip it a fun one. And 
here we are towards the end now. And we have uh, more music sheets, or more music paper that's been altered. And the back is a library pocket and an actual card that hasn't been written on. And another flash music flash card. There you go. And that is the back cover, more stitching. And let's move this stuff. And this is a Tim Holtz photo frame, just like the other ones that were in the, uh, the journal. And this, like I said, is from a scarf. And I just did some layering. I wanted it to be very grungy and I really think I've achieved this. And you can see all the charms in the bottom. And I think it worked out beautifully. I, I really hope that Pam enjoys this. I've really enjoyed the things I received from her. And I hope this fits the bill. So thank you for um, spending this time with me and watching this. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Bye.